So uh, here we are, uh, Winchester, uh, got here fine, uh, the start of the South Downs Way, quite uh, unglamorous, shopping trolley, I don't know if you can see that shopping trolley in the background, but uh, here we go, uh, okay I come from London today, uh, you know it's fairly easy, face masks, social distancing, all the rest of it, uh, stocked up on some water on in a uh, local supermarket, got some cash, uh, picked up a few oranges etc for my vitamins for today. Uh, and here we go, off we go, South Town's way. Uh. Here we are, the M3. Hopefully, I mean hopefully you can hear me, but also hopefully the last bit of city we're going to see for a while. Well, I've only been walking two minutes and I'm taking videos all the time, but just check that out. Look, just check out that landscape. Totally different to Streatham, Streatham High Street. Uh, I already feel I'm unwinding. Uh, already feel I'm unwinding. So we'll see, I'll keep you updated. Uh, I'm a little bit anxious about um, camping tonight, finding a camp spot. Of course I am while camping, got all my gear with me, so uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, yeah, first uh, hill climb, first hill climb of the South Downs Way for me, uh, and of course I've approached it uh, without any training, uh, four weeks of lockdown. Um, four weeks to look down without really doing any substantial exercise this is my first big trip and of course uh, I'm a little bit unfit so uh, feeling it a bit some of the muscles are uh, hurting and a few uh, things feeling a bit creaky but we'll just take it easy you know get, hopefully get my fitness up next few days and uh, see how we're going but uh, yeah feels good but, uh, okay uh, onwards Seen a kite over there. Two a pair, a pair of kites or something. There they are. I don't know if you can see that, but just on that post there, we've got a some sort of bird of prey, a red kite perhaps. Don't really know my birds of prey very well. And there was a pair, there was a pair just here a moment ago. So another uh, hill, not such a big one this time, uh, another little hill. Um, it's on Matherley Estate, it's part of, come on, presumably, uh, it's, well, it's where Matherley Bowl is. It's quite a big estate and uh, uh, yeah, I must say it doesn't feel all that welcoming. Obviously um, all the legal things, all the, you know, the right of are marked up and so on, which is all very good. But there's just lots of uh, keep out signs around and being washed and so on so it just doesn't feel all that uh feels like perhaps le the legalistic minimum for uh you know rights of way and so on anyway be keen to get off the land and the other thing was is it was a water point of like a proper fixed water point bike repair point which i thought was great but of course the water's off water wasn't working uh, so uh again slightly adds to the generally uh, un unwelcoming tone of the of the region so I guess it's fair enough but uh, it hasn't felt as welcoming as the other parts like the 
a tap outside the cottage for walkers and so on. And very pleasant people I've met so far. Anyway, getting out of breath now. So onwards and upwards. One uh, slightly funny idiosyncrasy of the path. You walk up this path, there you go, and then you have to walk down that path. You just have to walk the other way. There is a path that the landowners have set up, but uh, I'm a bit of a stickler for following the route. Uh, but it's uh, sometimes doesn't make any sense. Okay, uh, it's about um, 10 to 6 now. Um, I'm going to uh, do a bit more walking. I might start looking for a campsite, 7 or 8 ish, something like that. See how we get on. Okay, so um, I, I'm hoping I found a, my camp spot for tonight. Um, beautiful little spot under, I think it's a scotch pine, um, it's just off of the South Downs Way path, it's a little bit of woodlands near a, um, a footpath, it's fairly overgrown, although there are a few paths, and there's a vehicle track nearby. So I'm just going to sit tight here for a bit and just see what happens. Get a feel for the place. Maybe I'll have a bit of food and see if this is a suitable spot for camping tonight. I'll let you know. Uh, yeah, so uh, hi again. This is uh, day two. So uh, just uh, stopped in Beacon Hill National Park or Nature Reserve to have a brew and maybe a second breakfast. Uh, just had a little snack for breakfast. Um, yeah, g generally okay. My first um, first experience of wild camping. I uh, found a lovely little spot um, under a yew tree in a woods and a small uh, woods, some crops perhaps, and uh, yeah, it was all okay actually, it was all okay. I definitely felt, um, definitely felt my anxieties a bit. Uh, there was a lot of wildlife around, including an owl, I think, nesting in the branches, and so there's all sorts of noises going on in the night, and uh, yeah, I had to work with my mind quite a bit in order to, uh, you know, reassure myself that, um, wasn't big or bad monsters out there coming to get me. Of course there's not very much in uh, the UK that's dangerous but nevertheless one's mind one's mind tells stories doesn't it. Uh, but generally okay I think I got to sleep around 11ish something like that uh, and just slept till about four so I had four or five hours sleep and I'm probably gonna have a little nap today at some point. Uh, what is it now it's seven it's eight o'clock eight o'clock I've already walked for an hour and a half so I'm gonna stop here for a bit lovely views here let me just show you what I'm looking at lovely really lovely views um, so yeah just stop here for a bit have a brew have something to eat see if I have, see if I want to have a nap um, and then probably walk on a bit but all in all doing all right um, yeah Just had a really lovely uh, hour and a half, two hours maybe here at Beacon Hill. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. You can see the sea in the Isle of Wight. Absolutely stunning. I'll definitely come again. 
Uh, also probably a nice parking spot up there. But uh, anyway, okay, I've had, uh, it's now 10 o'clock. I've had a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, some noodles. Uh, you know, just recouped a bit, feeling much more energized now. So uh, off we go, off we go. Uh, see how far we get today. Okay, here we are again, uh, just across the river Mion and through, I think, Exxon, the village. It's very nice. Friendly people, I had a really lovely conversation with an old old man and his partner who were walking up the hill. Um, so next stop for me, I think, is Old Winchester Hill. And I think that, I think it's that one in the distance there. I'm just get it right, there you go, I think it's that one. I'll probably stop on Old Winchester Hill, but it looks like quite a climb. So, uh, off we go. just been uh, had something to be and also just doing uh, I've got some blisters appearing so just did some blister plasters and uh, repacking my bag etc seems to be, my bag seems to be growing for some reason um, <laughs> don't know why that could be because I don't have eating and drinking uh, but I'm nearly out of water as well so need to find a water source uh, soon um, I think there's one well, fingers crossed uh, the internet tells me there's one on the next uh, around about the next farm so fingers crossed for that also did a Google on the campsite. Like I kind of wanted to stay out tonight, or as a possibility, and that doesn't actually open till tomorrow. Uh, so um, I'm going to have to uh, wild camp again tonight, probably. Um, I'd like to get to. I think there's Queen Elizabeth Park, so there's a big park past that sustainability centre. Um, that might be a good option, uh, but it's rather far. Uh, well, rather far for me in my very uh, unfit. Uh, ambling state um, so anyway that might be the target for tonight yeah that's all I've got to say for now let's see what happens next and the landscape here is awesome absolutely awesome Good weather as well. Okay, great. So just in Meon Springs, uh, they've got water point. Very nice of them. Thank you, Meon Springs. Very kind of you. So I've just filled up on uh, all, uh, a couple of litres of water to get me through the rest of the day. It's quite warm now, quite hot. Uh, it's uh, 10 past two in the afternoon. Uh, so I'm looking pretty good for my target, which is Queen Elizabeth Park, which is uh, I don't know quite how far, but uh, three or four pages in the guidebook, which uh, seems doable. Okay, uh, catch you later. Okay, just walked up a whacking great hill, sort of steep and flinty the whole way. A couple of hundred meters. Uh, so I'm pretty tired now, my feet are hurting, regretting the extra weight, thinking of uh, all the way up, I was thinking about things I could have uh, left behind, <laughs> all the extras I brought that I didn't need, uh, that I haven't used. Um, but um, yeah, the reward is this. I think that's the last hill of the day though. Uh, I think it's fairly all along the ridge way now for the rest of the um, rest of the trip. Or rest of today's anyway, rest of today's travel. Okay, 
uh, carry on after maybe a break. Uh, another update, uh, I'm, I'm flagging quite a bit now, uh, I made it through the town that I was needing to get to, so I'm on the last leg now to Queen Elizabeth Park, I'm pretty much beat, it's 4.15, it's been a long day, I was uh, got on the move at 6, so what's that, 10 hours walking so far, well not entirely, not entirely 10 hours walking, I did a bit of resting here and there, but anyway, somewhere, somewhere like 8, I haven't got many more hours in me uh, of walking. Um, looks like a little uphill section now, then hopefully just loop on round into the park. That's the next, uh, next thing I'm looking for. So uh, here we are, good morning. Um, this is Camp T. For, uh, for tonight, uh, for yesterday, um, wasn't sure. I was, I was wondering whether to push on for the train station, but I uh, I stayed another night, and I'm pretty pleased I did. I feel better, and also um, uh, it's a much quieter night last night. I don't know whether I was more used to it or whether um, uh, this bit of woods was just a bit quieter, less animals around than the last one. It seemed very active. I heard a beautiful. A nightingale song last night um, which was really lovely um, so anyway it's about 5 5 30 so I'm just going to pack up and then I'm gonna go find somewhere to have spot breakfast okay catch you later okay I've just had lunch nice spot here just a little log tree uh, so been up a couple of hours now uh, had a coffee uh, so I think I'm ready to go my shoulders hurt today uh, when the shoulder straps are digging in. Uh, okay, anyway, I'm on to Peterson today. Peterson is the train station, so I've got a couple of hours uh, walking on the uh, South Downs Way, and then I'm going to divert to Peterson, and I'm going to go home today and just uh, recharge and uh, repack, get rid of some of my stuff in my backpack. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, catch you in a bit. Hey, uh, hey we, here we are in uh, Burrington, or just coming into Burrington. So this is just under the railway line uh, that I want to catch. Unfortunately, I've got to walk two miles north in order to actually reach a station where I can embark. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. So I've left the South Downs Way uh, now, at least for the time being. Um, just had a very nice visit through Burlington uh, Chalk uh, Mines. Uh, bit of history there, um, which is very good. I rec recommend that. Um, but uh, hopefully, this is where I shall come and pick up the South Downs Way uh, yet again in part two.